Recognize the member for Guelph. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. I'm happy to rise today on Bill 136, the Provincial Animal Welfare Services Act. And as a longtime advocate for stronger animal welfare protection in Ontario, I want to thank the Solicitor General for bringing this bill forward. Uh, I especially want to thank the many advocates from across the province who have worked every day and worked tirelessly every day to make Ontario a fair gentler and more humane province for animals. When an Ontario court ruled um, on this, uh, on animal protection laws and OSPCA said they were going to withdraw on it, I had so many of my constituents in Guelph reach out to me, uh, speaking out on the need for maintaining animal uh, welfare protection. I especially want to acknowledge the role that the Guelph Humane Society played. And I want to thank the Solicitor General for listening to those concerns and responding relatively quickly. Because there are some good things in this bill, ensuring that enforcement of animal cruelty laws under public jurisdiction, new offenses to combat dog fighting, more enforcement powers to help animals in distress, empowering first responders to take action when animals are at imminent risk, increasing penalties for serious repeat and corporate offenders. Animal, animal advocates want animal protection models that toughen penalties, broaden investigative powers, and does a better job of prosecuting cruelty and neglect. And so while the government's made some steps forward in this direction, I hope they listen to some opposition concerns so we can improve this bill at committee. In particular, this bill lacks information about the licensing and regulation of zoos and breeders. And the government needs to have a plan for this. And I encourage the government to develop regulations to cover zoos and breeders in this legislation. We should be following the lead of other provinces to ban cosmetic mutilations that do harm to animals for no other reason than aesthetics. I know the member from Davenport was just talking about this as well. Practices like declawing, tail docking, and ear cropping are inhumane and should be prohibited. And this bill provides us with an opportunity to make that explicit in legislation. The Guelph Humane Society has largely been supportive of this bill and has appreciated the work the Solicitor General has provided in consultation on this bill, has raised some, some, some concerns though. Questions, what will happen to animals that are protected under the new act? Where will they go? Who will be, where will they will be housed? Who will house them? Will, will there be enough budget to pro properly care for them? Will there be enough money available for training? These are serious questions that need to be answered and should be addressed at committee to amend this bill and improve it. Thank you, Madam Speaker.